The dream of escaping to Mars is a dangerous delusion. It preys on our fears. It promises a false hope. We are being sold a fantasy, packaged as science. This narrative, fueled by billionaires with rockets, is deeply irresponsible. It distracts us from the urgent problems here on Earth. We cannot afford to be misled. The stakes are too high. Elon Musk is a master storyteller. He understands the power of narrative. He weaves together ambition, technology, and a touch of fear. His vision of Mars is seductive. It taps into our desire for adventure, for progress, for a fresh start. But we must be wary of seductive narratives. They often conceal uncomfortable truths. Musk talks about making life multiplanetary as an insurance policy for humanity. He warns of existential threats like climate change and asteroid impacts. He argues that we need a backup plan, a second home. This message resonates, particularly in an era of climate anxiety. It offers a glimmer of hope in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. However, this narrative is deeply flawed. Mars is not a welcoming environment. It's a hostile, unforgiving world. The atmosphere is thin, offering little protection from radiation. Temperatures are extreme, plummeting far below freezing. The soil is toxic, water is scarce. These are not challenges that can be easily overcome. Musk's vision relies on terraforming, the hypothetical process of transforming Mars into a more Earth-like planet. This involves releasing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere to warm the planet and melt the polar ice caps. While this sounds like science fiction, Musk believes it could be possible. However, scientists are skeptical. Terraforming Mars would be a monumental undertaking. It would require technologies that don't yet exist and carry unknown risks. Even if successful, it would take centuries, if not millennia, to complete. This raises serious ethical questions. The financial cost of Musk's Martian ambitions is staggering. SpaceX, his private space exploration company, has raised billions of dollars in funding. While Musk claims that colonizing Mars will be surprisingly affordable, experts estimate the cost to be in the trillions of dollars. This money, they argue, could be better spent addressing pressing problems here on Earth. Investing in renewable energy, climate change mitigation and poverty alleviation would yield tangible benefits for billions of people. These are investments in our present and future, not in a distant and uncertain dream. While space exploration can inspire innovation, it should not come at the expense of addressing our immediate needs. Moreover, the pursuit of Martian colonization raises concerns about resource extraction and exploitation. Section 5 Ethical Quandaries The ethical implications of colonizing Mars are profound. We are talking about potentially altering another planet, introducing life to a new world. This raises fundamental questions about our place in the universe and our responsibilities to other celestial bodies. Do we have the right to impose our presence on Mars, potentially disrupting any existing ecosystems? Furthermore, who gets to decide who goes to Mars and what kind of society is built there? Will it be a society that reflects the diversity and values of humanity as a whole, or will it be dominated by a select few? The potential for inequality and injustice is enormous. The selection process for Martian colonists is another ethical minefield. Who will be deemed worthy of a one-way ticket to a new world? What criteria will be used? Will it be based on skills, wealth or some other arbitrary measure? The potential for discrimination and bias is significant. We must also consider the psychological and social implications of living in a confined, isolated environment on a distant planet. How will humans adapt to such an existence? What are the long-term effects on mental and physical health? These are questions that require careful consideration before we embark on such a radical undertaking. Section 6. The Right to Return The journey to Mars is long and perilous. It would take months to reach the Red Planet and the return trip would be equally challenging. This raises the question, what happens if colonists want to return to Earth? Will they have that right? Who will bear the cost and responsibility of bringing them back? Musk has been clear that the first missions to Mars will be one-way trips. He envisions a permanent human settlement on the planet. 
However, this raises ethical concerns about informed consent. Are potential colonists fully aware of the risks and challenges involved? Are they prepared for the possibility that they may never set foot on Earth again? The psychological impact of such a commitment cannot be overstated. Leaving behind family, friends and everything familiar is a daunting prospect. The isolation and separation from Earth could have profound effects on mental well-being. These are factors that must be carefully considered before any human sets foot on Mars. The environmental impact of colonizing Mars extends beyond the red planet itself. The resources required to build and launch spacecraft as well as to sustain a colony on Mars would have significant consequences for Earth. The extraction and processing of materials, the energy consumption and the waste generation would all contribute to our planet's ecological burden. The space industry, while often touted for its technological advancements, is a significant polluter. Rocket launches release harmful pollutants into the atmosphere, contributing to climate change and ozone layer depletion. The manufacturing of spacecraft requires vast amounts of energy and resources, often with significant environmental consequences. Furthermore, the pursuit of Martian colonization could divert resources and attention away from efforts to address Earth's environmental crisis. The billions of dollars being poured into space exploration could be used to fund renewable energy projects, develop sustainable agriculture practices and protect biodiversity. Instead of looking to Mars as a potential escape route, we should be focusing our efforts on preserving and restoring the planet we already have. Earth is our only home and we have a moral obligation to protect it for future generations. The allure of Mars as a potential second home is particularly seductive in the face of Earth's mounting problems. Climate change, pollution, resource scarcity and social unrest paint a bleak picture for the future. It's tempting to believe that we can simply escape these problems by colonizing another planet. However, this is a dangerous fantasy. Ignoring Earth's problems will not make them disappear. In fact, it will likely exacerbate them. The resources and attention diverted to space colonization could be used to address the root causes of our current crisis. Furthermore, the belief that we can simply abandon Earth if things get too bad is morally bankrupt. It abdicates our responsibility to future generations and to the countless other species that share our planet. We have a moral obligation to address the problems we have created and to create a just and sustainable future for all. Instead of looking to the stars for salvation, we need to look inward. We need to confront the systemic issues that are driving our current crisis, inequality, overconsumption, and a disregard for the natural world. We need to find solutions that work for everyone, not just a privileged few. While the hype surrounding Mars colonization is undeniable, it's crucial to separate fact from fiction. The challenges of establishing a self-sustaining colony on Mars are immense and should not be underestimated. The technological hurdles, the ethical considerations and the sheer cost of such an endeavour require careful scrutiny. We need to engage in a more nuanced and critical conversation about space exploration. It's not enough to be swept away by the excitement of rockets and the allure of distant planets. We must ask tough questions about the motivations behind these endeavours, the potential risks and benefits, and the long-term implications for humanity and our planet. Instead of viewing space exploration as a competition between nations or a vanity project for billionaires, we should approach it as a collaborative endeavour that benefits all of humanity. We need to prioritise scientific discovery, international cooperation and the responsible use of space resources. The future of space exploration should be guided by ethical principles, scientific rigour and a deep respect for the unknown. It should inspire wonder and curiosity, not fear and escapism. It should be a source of hope, not a distraction from the challenges we face here on Earth. Moving forward, we need to adopt a more responsible and ethical approach to space exploration. This means prioritising scientific discovery over nationalistic competition or private gain. It means engaging in open and transparent dialogue about the risks and benefits of space travel. 
and it means ensuring that the pursuit of knowledge does not come at the expense of our planet or its inhabitants. We need to invest in technologies that benefit both space exploration and life on Earth. This includes developing sustainable energy sources, reducing the environmental impact of space travel and using space-based technologies to address problems like climate change and resource depletion. We need to foster international cooperation in space. The challenges of space exploration are too great for any one nation to tackle alone. By working together, we can share the costs, mitigate the risks and ensure that the benefits of space exploration are shared by all. Finally, we need to remember that our ultimate responsibility is to Earth and its inhabitants. Space exploration should inspire us to protect our planet, not abandon it. It should remind us of the fragility of life and the importance of preserving the only home we know. Let's explore the cosmos with curiosity, humility and a deep commitment to safeguarding our future on this planet.